Some customers keep asking, how easy is it to boat in Spain? And how easy is it to get out there and go boating? Well, let's go and find out. Okay, so our nearest airport is Stansted, which is about 30 minutes away, so let's go. Okay, so we arrived at Stansted and we've got the choice of EasyJet, Ryanair or Jet2. Today, we've just decided to go on Jet2 because the timings were right going in the afternoon. And it was 500 quid for me and the missus, which I didn't think was too bad. So we'll see you in Menorca. Okay, so we've arrived in Menorca. We took a cab from the airport because I'm not that keen on high cars. Plus we like to go exploring around the island. It took about 40 minutes and cost about 70 euros. As you can also tell, I've changed into something a little bit more appropriate for the 28 degree weather in October. Okay, so what I haven't told you is that we have joined the Boats.co.uk Menorca cruise. So we've got this lovely S60 and we are going to cruise back to Mallorca and we might stop at a bay and I'm going to show you um, how easy it is to untie the boat, how easy it is to drive and how beautiful the weather is. And Pete's here as well. There's Pete, say hello Pete. Hola. And Pete is here to look after all the boats. I think we've got seven boats on the flotilla. So um, we'll be untying shortly and blasting off. So we'll see you in a bit. Just before we cast off, one quick thing about Citadella. We had a little walk around the town. It's so pretty. We'll put some pictures on the screen now just to show you how pretty this place is. So I, we highly recommend if you're in Menorca that you definitely go to Mahon and Citadella. It is so, so tranquil. Okay, so we're now going to leave the berth and I'm going to throw the lines over the bow. We've got two lines on the bow. We're going to disconnect the starboard one first and then the port one and then we'll go around and do the stern. So Charles is down here and Charles is throwing the ropes off. Um, the reason the passerelle isn't coming is because it won't come in. So it's just stuck out. I think it comes in a bit. Right, I can now drive. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of thruster. Are we all clear at the back, Charles? Yeah, all clear. clear? And just, if you come up here, sir, and we'll just go ahead. And we leave the quayside. If you just pan around to the quayside, you can see us moving. And then I'm going to get keep them going out straight because I've got some bow lines down here, sir. Look, I don't want to hit those bow lines with my props. So I'm just going to put a little bit of starboard ahead. Keep going straight till I'm clear. And then I've got this little rib here, sir. Look. I'm kind of blocking the river, but he's fine. Everyone's so chilled around here, no one. Oh, it's a marinero who looks after the harbour. Now, just while we're just turning, I'll just tell you about some of the costs for berthing a 60-foot boat. So a boat like this in Mallorca currently will cost about 45, 40 to 50,000 euros per year to keep here and then if you want gardenage where people look after the boat for you look at this how beautiful it is out there um, then you could pay up between 500 and a thousand thousand euros per month extra now if we pan over to Brian Brian's now just leaving his berth and that's a new Targa 65 GTO so there Charles is on the front if you zoom into Charles there He's just throwing the bow ropes over like we just did. And then Brian's at the helm. The, so the bow's now off. He'll then go to the back of the boat where the boat is now drifting back towards the quay and just throw those ropes in. That's it, you can zoom in there. He's just getting the ropes off the dock side, undoing it off the bollard, throwing them on board. Obviously we've started the generator 
and we've um, unplugged the shore power earlier. And then they will slowly go ahead. As you see now, little whiffs, wisp of smoke out of the engines and away they go. So our next stop is over there somewhere. I haven't turned the plotter on yet, I'll do that in a minute. Um, we're gonna go to Mallorca, Calador. And it's about 55 miles and it will we'll cruise about 20 knots. It should take us, um, well, well, we're gonna stop on the way. So probably three hours if we're lazy, stop for lunch somewhere, but we'll catch up with you soon. Get the fenders in. We've crossed the water and we've now arrived in Mallorca and we've stopped a place called Porta Colom. And um, I we were going to go into a, one of the callers, um, but it was a bit rough. So we're going into this port, which gives us more shelter. Now, a caller roughly translates to a cove. So this is just like a big cove. Um, and what I love about the Balearic Islands is there's so many callers and places to go and explore. And you can see here, look, we've got jet skis. These are tourists that have just hired jet skis. So I always keep well away from them because I've seen them do some very strange antics. So we're gonna stop in this caller, sorry, in Port Colom here and we are going to drop anchor and we're going to have some lunch. Okay, so we're just going to do some anchoring. You see Charles there, he's just anchoring that Targa 65. And we're just going to drop the anchor here. Okay. So I drop the anchor and then I start going slightly astern and I mean 3.3 meters and I just lay out an awful lot of anchor and chain a lot of chain sorry not a lot of anchor a lot of chain <laughs> so um, I just thought while we're at anchor we'll just do a quick sea keeper demonstration for you so at the moment I've got the sea keeper on and if you see, um, we're not rotting. Now, if I unlock the Sea Keeper, you've got to give it a couple of seconds. But if you unlock the Sea Keeper on this little screen, so I can just press a button. Now, we've got some waves coming in here now in this bay. See those waves there? If you look here, and it's a big wave now coming. But, and now, watch the horizon and the boat starting to rock. There we go. So both are starting to rock, and that's when your GNT flies off the table. But then you press this 80,000 pound button, and look, oh, it's grabbed it. Now you see we've stopped rocking straight away. And that's why you have to have a sea keeper. So Nick has just arrived with Nicola and Sienna. Bottle of bubbly in a 2023 Sea Ray 230, which you could buy as well. So, um, yeah, it's all happening. Okay, so we have just arrived in Calador, and it's, um, how is it, a bad evening, half five. And we're going to berth up, and then I'm going to show you a couple of places where we go for um, drinks and for dinner to show you how easy night life is. Well, actually, you can see some of the places there for dinner. Have a look down there. Sure. There are some of the restaurants like Aquarius and Port Petit and what have you. And then on this side, 
he thinks over this side is the smuggler's pub, which actually my brother Nick has recently bought, Hang on. which is very, very handy. So um, I'm not going to film the birthing up procedure because it's very similar to the leaving the port procedure. Um, but we'll catch up with you in a bit when we're in the pub. Okay, so we are now in Calador and I'm just going to have a beer. Now I've worked out that these are the boats, as you can see here, look. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, all right, ten. Okay, ten meters to the pub. And it's the pub that Nick's bought. And it's called The Smugglers. So this is The Smugglers. And this is where you come if you want a beer. So if you're in Calador, come to The Smugglers. But all around this port, if you can scroll over there, we've got all these lovely restaurants. You can zoom in. We've got Aquarius over there. We've got the Port Petit, which is lovely. Uh, we've got La Scala around the corner where we're going tonight. And, the, and all the way around here, La Soyeccia, we've got around here. La yes, Soyeccia, yes, Sky yeah. Bar. Sky Bar, loads and loads of places. So, if you want a nice drink after playing with your boat, then this is the place to come. Okay, so um, just got up, got an early flight back from um, Palma to Stansted. Got a bit of a headache. I must say that if you want to escape the rat race, and come out to a boating paradise, then you cannot beat the Balearic Islands, Mallorca, and Calador. And if you do choose to come to Calador then, and boat, you'll be extremely well looked after by the boats.co.uk team. We've got 20 staff out here, cleaners, valeters, um, engineers, sales guys, a lovely office. Um, so please do come and say hello if you're ever in the area. Oh, the other thing I was going to say is this Princess S60 that we're on is actually for sale. It's £1.5 million, including tax. So uh, if you want to have an instant passport to the fun, you can buy this. See you soon. Some customers keep on asking what's it like to boat in Spain and how easy is it to boat in Spain? So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm 